Hey and welcome to Neverwinter with Aragon. So the previous server has just got a pretty big update in terms of class improvements. We shall be getting a whole bunch of rogue changes, some cleric DPS changes, some news on upcoming fighter dreadnought changes, and also particular companion bonuses changes. We'll cover more details in each section, but for now we're going to jump over to the Rogue. We have a few adjustments on Assassin, where Wicked Reminder's stealth defect should preferably work, reducing the enemy's critical avoidance, but it'll now be only 5% instead of the aforementioned 10%, which never worked anyway. Lashing Blade will now have its added effect of 300 magnitude, rather than the useless critical severity you had before. Unfortunately, Path of Blades is getting reduced to only 4 hits, instead of what it was, like 21 to 22 hits, and also its duration is narrowed. So. 6 seconds normally and 3 seconds while you use when you use from stealth. Will help a little with burst but missing all those hits means you're not going to get all those triggered bonuses from like oppressors, from your mythalar, from your touch of wind and the new companion bonuses which we'll cover a bit later. But the general stealth drain won't be as impactful when enemies hit you anymore That'll be really nice. You can read through the details yourself here, but basically the penalty has been reduced by like 40%. Courage Breaker got its effect increased a bit. So did Bloodbath in terms of its damage. And then Assassin's Target. That can now be up to like 50% additional damage buff to the next encounter power you use. It's just massive, like one flurry of Duelist. And then you gain the 50% damage to your next encounter power. That's pretty huge for burst damage. And then Toxic Blades will be much easier to keep up, where it will last 15 seconds, versus before it would expire before you use your next encounter power, unless you were using Path of Blades to maintain it. Then we go over to the Whisper Knife, and here they've increased it massively the damage on the at will here. With Cloud of Steel as a viable damage over time, you'll increase its damage up to 50% via its stacks, and otherwise the feats got pretty massively buffed. This is up to 40% damage, this is 10% damage. Shadow of Demise is up to 50% versus 30. The cooldowns reduced on one with the shadows from 20 seconds to now just 15 seconds. Dark reimbursement has gone from 15% to 20%. Your killing storm has gone from 165 damage per hit to 200 damage per hit times 12. Lurker's Assault, instead of having just a 15% damage boost, will now have a 30% damage boost. And there were some improvements like Shadow Strike, Magnitude's gone up to 775, Impact Shot gone from 585 up to 600, and ultimately that's pretty much it for Rogue. Just in, we can see all the updates here. This is from Brett Norton, the executive producer, where he covers like the patch notes for the previous server on Discord. So you have this initial bunch here with your Cloud of Steel, Lashing Blade, Path of Blade, as we mentioned. Also with the Stealth Regeneration Reduction penalty there. Then we have with the Assassin, your Toxic Blades feat, your Assassin's Target feat, your Wicked Reminder. Then with the Rogue Daily Power updates, you have your Courage Breaker magnitude increase with also Bloodbath and Killing Storm. And then also Lurker Assault Daily Power, as we've seen as well and then with the whisper knife power gun specifically you have the shadow demise gone up to that 50 percent you can see your shadow opportunity your ambush or haste feet your gutter porns touch feet your impact shot shadow strike encounter disheartening strike at will and to continue on with that cloud of steel vengeance pursuit dark reimbursement one with the shadows returned to the shadows feet and the dagger threat feet and then moving on from that we have the promised cleric changes so chains of blazing light will have that 320 magnitude with the ability to increase it with your stacks of, of radiant judgment and then also your sunburst you won't cause like a knockback unless you charge it up fully. So let's check that out. So if we go here, we can see if we just cast it, it won't knock the dude and it'll just deal some damage. And then the chains will be like this. It'll deal damage in the area. Pretty neat. We're going to dismiss our companion so he isn't going to throw off results. But again, if you want to get the actual knockback effect, we have to charge it up fully and then we get the knockback. But you can just quick cast it and you don't get any knockback, which is really nice for group content. And then the chains, they're going to look like this. We can cast it here. And there you go. You get that effect. And then sunburst. 
boom. And that was actually pretty decent with the stacks there we were getting. The burning ones from the chains and the radiant ones from the sunburst. Again, the chains is like this. So that'll help with AoE along with the fact that you can cast Searing Javelin now, I believe, without needing a target. We can just cast it where we look. So that is awesome. You're not going to run into the issue of your target dying and then not being able to cast it. And it won't have some weird funny aiming with it as well. Again, it's just exactly where you're pointing. You'll want to line yourself up and there you go. So if I'm looking off in this direction, well, oops, that's where it's going. So you're going to have to make sure you're aiming properly. We want to hit all three. We can aim at the middle of them there and hit them all with that radius of eight. So that's very nice to see. And I believe Flame Strike got an update to its tooltip and it should be able to crit properly as well. So you can see they put the 540 times six. They've also changed the cost of Daunting Light. Not the radius, unfortunately, but the cost has gone from 200 to just 150. This will help in single target, specifically when using that focused light feat, where you buff it up to 450 magnitude, and you need it for your rotation with regards to your Forge Master's flame and your perfect balance. It'll be interesting to see how that affects it, saving 50 divinity on each cast. Also, Justin, the patch notes for the cleric changes from executive producer Brett Norton. With your Searing Javelin, your Burning Patch Feet, the Bastion of Health Encounter, Chains of Blazing Light, your Daunting Light, and your Sunburst. Very good improvements there. Now when we move back to my Rogue, they have also gone and updated Companions. So like Aranea, now she's going to deal on a 5% chance, 225 magnitude lightning damage. And this can only trigger once per second, but... They've made it so it actually scales properly with stats. So it's going to deal quite a decent amount of damage. For example, she's dealing more damage than the Touch of Wind, which is generally like 5% of your overall damage. It will vary depending on class, and especially because Path Blades did get nerfed on Rogue, you won't be able to get as much damage out of it. Like, you won't be able to get as much damage out of Touch of Wind anymore without that extra hits of Path of Blades, meaning this will probably deal maybe 4% of your overall damage. That does make it pretty competitive with something like the Neverwinter Knight. And we're going to have to test out a whole lot more of these. And I'll make a dedicated video to that when I have finished my testing. There's a lot of them like this and they've all been updated with it being fixed. So now that that damage will actually be affected by your stats dealing pretty good damage now. So again, I will cover all of these in separate videos just to show my testing of them. I'll go dive straight into companion testing, see which ones are good. Again, everything's still open to change. I will test them if there's any one that way outperforms the others. That doesn't mean you should go and buy it right away. It could very well get adjusted down to be balanced with the rest. This is again an announcement video. You can jump on the preview server yourself, check them out. And the devs are open for feedback, specifically on the threads on Discord with the feedback sections there dedicated to the separate like rogue cleric and those companion enhancements. And then there's also a thread for fighter DPS and they will be getting some improvements. I can check real quick, but I don't think they put anything yet where they should be increasing its powers and very likely changing the block ability to have like immunity frames rather than your shield. So that way you can compete and like mitigate red zones and you aren't gonna get immediately killed by ads and things like that. And we can see right here what he means. They'll be adding like Forge Ahead instead of the block. You'll be getting some extra Vengeance generation and most likely be expanding on feats that consume Vengeance. You can see as an example with Forge Ahead where you would gain that shift ability. You gain some immunity frames and some movement speed buffs within the first second that you use it. And then like with Reprisal, you would gain extra Vengeance generation when you use like your guarded strikes and your shield bash, basically when you're blocking and you use those at wills. And this would be somewhat like the damage on it. So again, just a heads up and we'll see you guys around. Goodbye for now.